Do you remember this guy? His name is Johnny Yoon. With one small movie, this Korean comedian made an indelible impression. That movie was 1982's They Call Me Bruce, a film that came from nowhere, cost peanuts, and grossed about 17 million at the US box office. Wake up! Lady, give that man his purse back. It's my purse! He's the thief! Let's hit the pause button for a moment. What you're about to see next is possibly one of the funniest exchanges of dialogue in 1980s movies. It's also the signature scene of They Call Me Bruce and the scene that Johnny Yoon will always be remembered for. With my right foot, I can knock out that knife. With my left, I can kick your nose. Take a good look at my face. I'm an oriental. You're watching Pick of the Flicks with Tony Douglas and welcome to my review series on wacky comedies from the 1980s and 90s. Those hilarious films with quotable lines that take you back to a happy time when a trip to your local video store was a major event. Today's movie review is the hilarious kung fu spoof They Call Me Bruce, starring Johnny Yoon and Margot Hemingway. Right from the get-go, They Call Me Bruce had all the odds stacked against it. It was a comedy with a no-name cast starring a goofy stand-up comedian. The film was made on a low budget and featured a risky premise that could either sink or swim. Yes, it is a huge challenge to spoof kung fu films, considering that many of them, even in their serious form, fall into self-parody. They Call Me Bruce is an audacious but ingenious spoof of the Bruce Lee phenomenon. To appeal to the everyman, the poster art stated, with a little practice, anyone can be as good as Bruce Lee, and to appeal to the American nation, the poster billed its lead character as America's wackiest new hero. Yes, They Call Me Bruce went all out to attract an audience, and it was all based on the little man, America and Bruce Lee. The amazing thing is, the film was also marketed as a mafia spoof with an Asian twist, with one infamous poster promoting it as a fistful of chopsticks. The mafia poster featured taglines such as, organised crime exposed and he's breaking up the mob with laughs. The poster caps things off with the statement, the second funniest movie ever made, leaving people wondering what is the first. They Call Me Bruce is a quirky romp about an Asian immigrant nicknamed Bruce because of his uncanny resemblance and overwhelming obsession with the legendary Bruce Lee. Bruce works as a cook and delivery boy for the mob, but finds himself unknowingly delivering drugs, believing that the goods are Chinese flour. Bruce is not the sharpest tool in the shed, so what follows is a zany collection of sketches as Bruce is pursued by a wacky assortment of characters. In including gun-totting cowboys, deadly mobsters, high-class hookers, fast-kicking women and sword-wielding karate masters. If that's not enough, Bruce even finds time to get entangled in a little romance. Amongst all the chaos, we are also treated to Bruce's vivid imagination, which includes sentimental flashbacks to his childhood and some over-the-top action sequences where Bruce is always the hero. They Call Me Bruce was popular enough to see Bruce return for one last laugh in the 1987 sequel, They Still Call Me Bruce. Just like the first film, this one also features a screenplay by Johnny Yoon. The sequel is more elaborate than the original and for many just as enjoyable, as Bruce takes over a struggling karate school, fights a living, breathing bull and even enters the ring for a gruelling kickboxing match. All in all, They Call Me Bruce is a fun film that manages to effectively blend fish-out-of-water elements with kung fu comedy and mafia mayhem. More importantly, the film is a showcase for the comedic talents of Johnny Yoon, whose likability transcends all the elements to make They Call Me Bruce a unique entry in the kung fu genre, or for that matter, comedy cinema in general. Well, now it's over to you. What do you think of the film? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Or is it just okay? Better still, would you watch it again or recommend it to a friend? We want to know your thoughts, so please have your say in the comments below. If you're a fan of wacky comedies, be sure to subscribe and keep a lookout for
for more reviews coming your way. Until next time, this is Tony Douglas, Talk and Movies for Pick of the Flicks. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Chinese boy got a funny mouth. Mm -hmm. They call me Bruce, a superhero America can believe in.